Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news from the credits team. On March 18th, they promised us that they were going to release their proof video that shows over 400k transactions per second. Ladies and gentlemen, they have released the video. Hey, I got a question for you. I'm on the daily grind. I'm taking care of work. I'm getting paid today. I'm doing things to make it right. Is your money working for you or are you working for money? Welcome to the crypto lifestyle, the lifestyle where your money works for you instead of you working for money. Now, here we go, guys. Here is the Medium article. Okay, Credits has released their proof video, which is right here. They also have their own YouTube channel. So anybody who's interested in this project, if you're an ICO investor, if you're, you know, if you got the coin when it went live into the markets, or if you're looking in for more information about Credits, you know, just subscribe to their YouTube channel. And also check out their Telegram channel here as well. Okay, guys, so check this out. We're going to look at this video. This is a very, I mean, it's not too long, the article, but at the same time, I don't want to make a video and just start reading words to you guys. Um, I would leave the official link for this Medium article at the bottom in the description box and also in the comment section. So if you guys are interested, you could click the link there and come here and, you know, just carefully read over this. And what I would do is I would just go over some of the point form notes here and some of the major selling points. But first, let's check out this video, guys, okay? Hello everyone and greetings from uh, the Credits team. Uh, we're here today to test uh, Credits blockchain platform. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start a large amount of nodes and the transaction generator. At the moment the entire testing network is on apart from the signal server. Monitoring is launched on one of our servers. As we can see now, the node is on. We're going to gradually continue starting more of them. We'll start three nodes to begin with. And after, we're going to launch transaction generator. As you will see, the transactions are going through. Now we're going to start the remaining nodes one by one. Let's see what the result is going to be. All the nodes are now on and we are monitoring the outcome. As we can see, the speed is increasing. A larger transaction package is being launched every minute. Let's see which one has the highest amount of transactions. A few pools of transactions have gone through. 
One of them contains 488,000 transactions, and the other one has 426,000 transactions. Now we are talking, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. Now we are talking. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how else to put this. That was just badass. And excuse my language, but that was badass. Look, if this is audited and tested by a third party, some sort of blockchain developers, and this has been audited and turns out to be true. Guys, this is groundbreaking technology here. Let's get into the actual article a little bit though. So, <coughs> excuse me guys, as the title suggests, the alpha version of credits showed a speed of 488, 403,000 transactions per second during the testing. Okay, so the technicians of the credits blockchain platform completed testing of the system alpha version. The goal was to check what is its maximum load and how it is resistant to processing large volumes of transactions, identify its problems and resolve them. At the peak load of the system could process pool block of 488, 403 transactions per second. Um, we reworked the entire big data storage architecture, API, and some of the individual platform components during testing. The video of the testing procedure is posted on our YouTube channel. Below is the text with technical detail as a supplement, says um, the CTO at Credits. I don't want to even try to pronounce his name to insult him, sir, so um, I do apologize um, um, for not uh, pronouncing your name. So here we go. Um, they go on to say how the testing was done. And as I said, guys, look, I do not want to just read words to you guys. You know, I try to bring valuable content, and I know reading words, anybody could do that. As I said, I would leave the link at the bottom. Um, a robot generator of transactions was developed to carry out the testing. It was running according to the following principle, and they go into more detail here. Technical implementation of the test, guys. You know, you guys could come here and read this. The main objective of testing was the ability of network architecture to manage and process large volumes of transactions. Okay, so as we come down here, they go on to say number four, validation of nodes. Re we refused from the validation algorithm DPoS or delegated proof of stake and implemented a stable version of the val validation algorithm BFT. During the testing phase, it was decided to use a stripped down but a stable version of this protocol. Okay, so they're trying to say that how the nodes are going to be DPoS, so they're not going to be using mining, right guys? So as I mentioned in my previous videos, mining is becoming obsolete with DPoS, um, even POS, proof of stake, and also another, um, another version of it called proof of authority, right? So they're, they go on here and they explain this. They did use that uh, partially in this test, um, I believe. So let's just read this here. At the current stage, a stable version of the algorithm works as follows. Follows, the newly created transaction is sent via trusted nodes. The number of trusted nodes varies, with a total number of 10 nodes, 50% um, of trusted nodes, but not less than 3. With the total number of nodes from 100, 10% are trusted nodes. If 51% of trusted nodes approve the transaction, it is sent to the master node for further development of the pool and recorded in, recorded in the database. The checking of transaction uniqueness was performed without checking the account balance. It affects the speed only to inconsiderable 1-2%, to but we would have to create a lot of different accounts. Um, the following issues were also absent as not required for testing the system bandwidth. So there you go. So um, from my understanding, what I got out of this point number four was pretty much um, so the BFT version um, instead of mining is far more faster. Okay, to, it could it could um, process transactions far more faster than the mining, um, so to speak, model or uh, processor, so to speak, right? Because miners are the ones who process transactions, right? So I believe this DPoS or the BFT way of doing it will um, expedite things, okay? And that is why they're able, well, that's part of it, of why they're able to um, handle such large amounts of transactions per second, guys. Just go on and read the actual conclusion and you guys can come out and check this out, man. I highly recommend you check this out. I cannot stress this enough. So conclusions, test results. The data obtained during these tests represent a great value for the blockchain community and our project. The, the test helps to assess the real allowable load on the network, which should be considered when anticipating a large flow of operations. First, we have 
proved that our system can handle large transaction volumes from 500,000 per second with the prospects of millions of transactions. So they plan to scale up from, to, I believe it was a million to 10 million transactions per second. We are proving the feasibility of processing millions of transactions per second and an average processing time from fractions of a second. It should be understood that the programming code is not optimized and will later have a huge potential for improvement and optimization. Okay, guys, they go on here, guys. Look, hey, man, I'm super excited. Come check out their Telegram chat. It is just popping off. We could expect a little pop in price here for credits. Considering even the brutal current market conditions, guys, we should see a little pop. Look, oh, my God. The overall market cap has gone even lower. $286 billion. It is getting ridiculous out here. As I said to my people, the crypto gods are really testing its crypto believers' faith. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Um, but anyways, let's check out credits. There. 37 cents. I mean, it's down eight and a half. Sorry, eight and a quarter percent. I still expect somewhat of a pop here. But then again, market conditions, like look at this, $286 billion is the overall market cap. That could override any sort of announcement or breaking news, right? It's like mother nature, right? Um, it's out of our control, right? So it is what it is, guys. Nonetheless, hey, this is exciting stuff, guys. I'm super stoked. I hope you are too. It's your boy, The Crypto Lifestyle. Trying to bring you guys the latest of the latest and also the latest of the greatest. There ain't really much left to say, guys. We went through the credits proof video. We read a bit of the article here. So, I guess until the next video, you're on your own. Later.